Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today I wanted to show you one of my favorite tools, which is Pandoc as you can see on your screen. So let's say that you have a wonderful document, a markdown document, which is a very simple way to create documents here. And one of your colleagues approach you and tells you how cool your document is and she wants it as well. And you, as nice a colleague you are, you ask your colleague, oh, but would you like this document in PDF? And your colleague, surprised, but at the same time delighted by your proposition, is answering, of course, I would love a PDF to your wonderful document. So how to do that? I'm sure you've guessed it. We can use Pandoc. So you can install and run Pandoc in your favorite shell. And we want to convert our file, which is called document.md, into PDF. So I do minus O for output document.pdf, which is the output file. Let's run that. And it will take a tiny bit of time because my computer is old and I have OBS Studio, which is um, eating my CPU. Now let's open our PDF for your colleague. And here we are, we have your markdown in PDF, even with the image. This is wonderful. So what else can you do? You can add, if you want, something a bit more fancy, some metadata. So for example, you can add the title, which is super document, which is of course, a trademark, you can put the author, which is me. You can put the right, copyright. Um, me. And you can put the language, E-N-U-S. Here we go, let's save that and let's now convert the document again. Converting, converting, converting. Here we are. And if we open it now, this is wonderful. You have the title at the beginning, the author, and then the whole document with the cool image. Great. But you know what? You don't have to convert to PDF. Let's say that your colleague at the end of the day would like to modify your document in LibreOffice. So she wants an open document format, ODT. Well, let's change that to document.odt. And now we have three documents, including the new open document. And if we open it, as I'm doing now, you have the super document by Matthew and you can modify it. And there is the image here, which is a bit too big, but it works. It works like a charm. No, I don't want to say it. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm sure you understood now, but what is interesting is you can uh, convert in a lot of format and you can convert from as well, not necessarily markdown, but other format as well. And to see all the format you can use, you can do pandoc uh, list input format, which will list every input format you can use. And if you want to count them, you can use the bc minus l cli and we have 39 different input formats we can convert from 
And let's say you want to convert from Markdown, you can do that as well. Instead of uh, precising the document and from the extension .md, Pandoc know that it's Markdown, you can directly precise that you want a document from, uh, from Markdown and let's say to PDF. And then you give your document, which is here, not necessarily document.md, but it could be document without extension. And you give the output as always, and it will do exactly, oops, sorry, exactly the same as before. And now with all the input formats I uh, list for you, and of course you can list as well the output format, and there are 61, so you can convert 39 different formats from two 61 different other formats. So if you multiply the two, I don't know how much it is, but it's a lot of conversion you can do with Pandoc. One interesting thing is you can as well create slides with Pandoc. And I don't know about you, but I hate PowerPoint and everything which is doing slides. So that's why, and I love Markdown. Uh, I like LaTeX as well, as we will see. And uh, if I can do that in Markdown, I'm very happy. So what you can do is you want to convert this time to Beamer. And if you do that, each slide will be a first level section. So this is a first level section. So uh, to have two slides, we would need a second first level section. Makes sense. And let's make it a bit different, a bit shorter maybe, just with a link and a conclusion. Let's delete the conclusion here. Here we go. So we can do pandoc minus t beamer again, uh, giving the document, um, giving the output. and convert. So here I'm using that raw, which is a PDF reader, which is really cool because you can control only with your keyboard. So if I open that raw with my that raw, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, if I open with that raw, I have no slide and I can go in slide mode. So here's the first slide, here's the second slide, which is our first first level section, and here's the second first level section. And if you don't like it, you have access to different, if you want, different um, theme. So you can do minus V here, which is for variable, and you can do theme equal Berlin, which is one of the theme available. Let's compile again. And you don't have to put that in the, um, um, in the command itself. You can use it here. You can do theme Berlin here in the metadata and it will work uh, as good. So here it's done. Let's open it again. Uh, let's go back to slide mode here. You see the theme change. It's a bit better for the eye, maybe, if you like blue. But um, which is cool as well is you can even um, use a color theme. If you don't like the color that much, let's say that we want a color theme which is called Seahorse. And let's compile again and compile and compile. Took 30 seconds this time, a bit slow, but I'm sure on your super cool computer, which is better than mine, it will be better too. So here we go, we have a different color theme, which was less blue. Um, 
What else? Well, you can do many, many things with Pandoc. Uh, you can use many variables as we did here for many different formats. There is a ton of arguments to the, to the command itself. And uh, to show you that, I can show you the book I've written. Um, I won't compile it now because it will be a bit um, slow because I have a lot of stuff in there. But uh, here we go. I created a whole book with a cover and table of content automatically generated. Um, and as you see, it looks very professional and you can really push um, uh, the configuration very far because here we didn't touch uh, LaTeX, but internally to convert from Magdon to PDF, there is a LaTeX template and a LaTeX engine, which is used And this LaTeX template, uh, more specifically, can be modified. And it's what I did for my book to have exactly the, the look I wanted. By the way, it's the new version of the book. Uh, you will you see for the first time, you are so lucky. So to show you a bit, Um, here is a LaTeX template I was speaking about and here you can add variable you can pass with a minus V for example to execute some stuff um, depending of what you need and since it's a book you need different version if you want to print it for example you want a print version you want a PDF version for the digital version you want an EPUB version and of course, with Pandoc, you can convert as well to EPUB. And the best way to do that is to do a make file where you can put all your options um, and all the arguments for Pandoc. And um, depending on what you want, if you want a PDF, if you want a print, if you want an EPUB, uh, you push all uh, the, the different options and it works very, very, very well. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching till the end. And I wish you a great, great rest of your day.